Hello and welcome to Edpuzzle video tutorial. In this part, we're going to look at how to create and manage your Edpuzzle account. This is going to be a 10 part series where in each part we'll look at different things, starting from the very beginning, like how to create an account and manage it, all the way to how to create Edpuzzle videos, how to assign them to students, how to create classes, how to access gradebook and many, many others. All in all, there will be 10 parts. This is going to be the first one, the very beginning of the Edpuzzle. To begin using Edpuzzle, first thing you need to do is to create an account. And this is what we're going to do today. Head over to edpuzzle.com. Once you're there, click sign up. We're going to create teacher's account. So select I'm a teacher. You have two options as to how to create Edpuzzle account, either using one of your Google accounts or start with Edpuzzle. I'll quickly show the difference between two. If you click sign up with Edpuzzle, you will have to put in your first name, last name, email and password. If you click and sign up with Google, then Edpuzzle will pre-populate my first name, my last name and my email address. Edpuzzle takes my first name and my last name from my Google account. Don't worry if your first name or last name don't show up correctly because you can change it later. So think of a strong password and put it in. If you don't have referral code, skip this field and click I agree to add puzzles terms and services. After that, click confirm. Once we've entered our initial information, Edpuzzle will ask you to select your school. Now it's important to realize why Edpuzzle is asking you to select your school. The reason for that is if there are other teachers from your school and your subject area and they're using Edpuzzle, their Edpuzzles or their videos that they created will be shown to you as well. So Edpuzzle asking for your school and subject area to help better find are helpful materials for you. So make sure that the content that you're putting in in terms of school and subject are accurate so Edpuzzle can help you. Let me show you an example. I work at Albayan Bilingual School and you can notice that there are two schools that have very similar names. First one is Bayan Bilingual School with six teachers. Another school is Albayan Bilingual School and then there's one more with four teachers. This mistake often happens when teachers start their Edpuzzle accounts and they maybe misspell the, the name of their school and they miss out some parts. You end up having different schools which are supposed to be the same. So make sure if you encounter the same problem as I've done right now, you join the school with most people. So I'm going to join this school because it has 74 teachers. Don't worry if after you put in your school, nothing shows up. It only means that you are the first teacher in your school to start using Edpuzzle. After we've put in our name, we select our subject area. And like I said before, Edpuzzle is asking for your subject area to better find content that is relevant for you. I'm going to select computers and join school. The last step we need to take to register for Edpuzzle account is to verify our account. Edpuzzle asks me to check the inbox of the email that I've used during the registration to verify my account. That's the email from the Edpuzzle that I need to verify. Click verify my email. Congratulations, you've just created your Edpuzzle account and this is what the home screen of the Edpuzzle looks like. I just want to show you a couple of things that you need to know to be able to edit your account. Click on this circle in the top right corner and on your name. Like I told you before, Edpuzzle took my Google first name and last name and it's MS iPad 3. So in order to change that or if you ever need to change your account settings, this is where you do it. In the account, I'm going to change my first name and my last name. The next thing that you might want to change if you made a mistake and accidentally selected the wrong school, this is where you can change that. In the same settings, go to school, click on change your school if you ever need to change your school or you can change your subject. Today you've created your Edpuzzle account and learned how to edit personal information, school and subject area. If you have any questions about what we've done today, feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I'll try to get back to you within 24 hours. In our next Edpuzzle tutorial, we'll have a look at the user interface, home screen, what all those things that you see in your home screen actually mean, how do you navigate Edpuzzle platform, where do you go, what do you click and how do you find your content. I'd like to thank you for taking your time to check out this tutorial 
I hope it was helpful and I'll see you in the next part.